Welcome to another video. This is Armas Kenfu from SuperSQA.com. In this video, we are going to look at an example of a Selenium script with Python. All right. So Selenium is one of the most popular uh, automation tools. It's used in QA field to test uh, web browsers or to test web applications. It is extremely popular, and the actual field of automation is growing like crazy it's really it's a really good field to be in so this is meant to be for people that are exploring the field or that are learning selenium and i just want to look at an example of a selenium web driver with python all right so i'm just going to write a quick script it's going to be a standalone script it's not going to be part of a framework and we're going to write a test like an end-to-end -end test to actually verify something so let's just look at what we're going to verify so what we're going to verify is we got, i got this website demostore.spursqa.com this is a test website created for my students and we practice all of our automation in in this practice in this website well maybe not all but most of our automation in this in this website we have access to the database we have access to the api so we learn front-end automation using this we learn back-end automation using the api and we, we also use uh, database testing uh, using this entire application this is a wordpress application which is a full-fledged e-commerce you can do checkout uh, you cannot process credit card, but there's tricks to go over that. So we can actually write a real e-commerce test as if you would do in the real world. So that is the benefit of uh, the benefits that my students get because they get to practice on a real site. So uh, the test we're going to write for this video is going to be basically we add item to the cart. Okay. Uh, verify the item gets added. Then we go to cart. We're actually going to go straight to the address. And the test is to make sure removing an item from the cart works. So we're going to come here and we click on X. And then we're going to make sure this message, your cart is currently empty message gets displayed. That is going to be the automation. So we are going to write code that does everything that I just did. It's going to open the page, add, add on, click on everything that I just clicked, and it actually make, verifies this text displays. Okay, So we're going to use Selenium WebDriver in Python to do so. So I'm going to write my code in, in PyCharm. I use PyCharm in all of my Python projects. And if you want to learn more about PyCharm, look, look below for links. And if you like what you see here, and if you really want to learn uh, Python and Selenium, both of them from scratch, the best way, then consider taking my course. Okay, I have a full course on the site supersqa.com as well as on Udemy. It is the best selling course on Udemy and it is highly rated on Udemy. So it's a great course. It teaches you from scratch. It teaches you everything about Python and everything you need to know about Selenium, okay, at a basic level. So it's a great course, plenty of practice, plenty of exercises. You're using it on a real life uh, e-commerce application. It's, it's, it's as real as it gets when it comes to the actual work you're going to do. It's a great course. Check it out. Um, uh, please use a coupon that's attached at the bottom because you will save a lot of money and I'll save a lot of money. Udemy takes about 75% of the sale. But if you use a coupon, I get to keep like 90 something percent of the sale. Also, if you want to learn the full QA, then I suggest doing it on the website because you actually can buy a bundle and you can save a lot of money. Instead of buying individual courses, you can just buy a full bundle that has a back end, front end, BDD, robot framework all of that okay so i do highly recommend you to check that out it's a great course all of the material is you're going to learn a lot about qa and i'm here always to answer questions okay so back to this video though so in this video i already have selenium installed obviously python installed so you can use python 2 python 3 if you do want to follow it but if you just want to just check it out you can just watch me but if you want to do it i do recommend python 3. um Python tool will be fine. Some things you would have to change. If you don't know any, anything about Python, if you begin, if you're new to Python as well as Selenium, then I highly recommend doing a, uh, the full Python course. Okay. All right. So let's get started. I'm just going to create a Python file. That's all I need to do here because not a part of a framework. And I am going to call the file demo store, which is a site verify remove from cart. Simple. So the first thing we usually import is from Selenium import web driver the thing is here we, we're creating a file a standalone file just a script by itself when you're actually working on an automation if you actually have a product you're testing you're not going to do this imports everywhere okay you have a framework i'm going to talk about frameworks in a different video but you have a framework which which has which is written once and it's taking care of all this stuff but so you just write test 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 so you, you'll be able to produce a lot of tests a lot quicker so in in the full course we actually use a framework we build a framework from scratch we'll talk about we use a, a very popular tool called pytest 
and we build a framework then so we when you add and test to it then it's just very very simple you don't have to do all this that we're doing in this file and everything we do is going to be reusable here this script is going to be basically just this script nobody is going to be able to use the script okay it's going to have one purpose and it's not reusable but the right way to do it is in a framework so it is reusable that's just a little tangent discussion uh back to the demo so we're going to import from selenium import web driver all right that's one thing we need to do another thing we need to do is from selenium web driver chrome services import service we need this so uh, for an older version of selenium selenium 3 you don't need this for selenium 4 you do need it you don't need it for now but you will get a deprecation warning if you don't do this and we're going to see how we use it so the first thing we need to do is open a open a browser and i'm just going to print a message instead of adding a comment uh opening browser okay so then we're going to create our object it's going to be we're going to call a driver this is just a variable you can call it anything but but everybody calls a driver almost okay so it's going to be web driver dot chrome now we need to pass it an executable we have to have an executable downloaded in my case it's already it's in my i'm going to do which uh chrome driver because i'm going to use chrome it's in my path this is not going to work for you if you don't have it uh if you don't have it uh, in your path but you can just have it in a download folder i i, I have it actually in a download folders too and you can you can say executable paths and give it that path this could be it can be any path where you have this chrome driver this chrome driver you have to download it if you google chrome driver you'll be able to download this okay but you if i run it like this i'm going to get a deprecation warning so the new way to do it for selenium 4 which eventually it was going to be required but right now we just get a warning it still works you get a warning but later on it's going to be it's going to be gone so i'm going to do this this is what you have to do okay and I'm going to do service is S. So this is the same name for way of doing it. All right. So let's test this out. So this should just open. What I did here is I just say open Chrome. That's really what this is. It just, it just creates an instance of Chrome. So I have a virtual environment uh, ready and I'm in the, the right location. So what I have to do is run the script. So I'm going to do Python demo store verify remove from cart. I'm going to run it that's my print statement here and it's done and you can see a browser actually opened there's nothing in the browser so i'm going to close this and i'm going to write some more code so now i want to actually go to the home page right so i can say home page url let's go to chrome and we actually want to go to the home page and get this url all right so i'm going to save it in a variable i don't have to then i'm going to say driver.get I'm going to get a homepage URL. This is actually going to get basically saying go to that site. So let's run it. And now the browser opens, but not only it opens, it would actually go to the site. As you can see, it did that. That is all the code doing it. I did not do anything there. All right. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do is we actually want to click on this R to cart button. So let me do inspect and what what we do in in chrome and web driver in selenium is basically you find the elements you find an item and you do something to it either you click it or you type into it or you get the text things like that that's really what you do you're interacting with the actual page so you need locators so i want i want to be able to click on this button so now i need to find a way to locate it so there is a lot of ways to do it but in this video i want to keep it quick and short so i'm going to use the, the tool itself to find the xpaths and css so uh, this is the element. This is what I'm trying to click on. I'm gonna, just going to copy the XPath. Normally, I'll build it myself, and I use CSS for the most part. But when I want to do something quick, I just use XPath, which is a great way to test anyways. All right, so I'm going to say add to cart, cart button locator. I'm just going to save it in a variable. So I'm going to print something here, clicking, clicking, uh, to cart all right so i'm going to say driver uh, find element so i need to import the by class because we're going to use it and as an import is from selenium dot web drive selenium dot web driver dot common dot by import by all right so i'm going to say find element by this one is xpass because and the variable I chose well I decided to use XPath. there are so many different locators that we can you can use 
and I can assign this into a variable. I can say add to cart button. And this is going to be an element. So now I can say add to cart button dot click. Now this is going to actually click it. So let's run it and let's see. Okay, I don't going forward. I don't have to run it every single step, but this time let me just show it to you. There you go. It clicked it. We know it clicked it because it's highlighted here, and we see that an item has been added to the cart. All right, sweet. So far, our script is working. It's a good idea to test out your script as you go, uh, so you don't have to fix a whole lot of things uh, later on. All right. Okay. So now we select. We click that, and typically you would. In this case, okay, let's, in fact, let's, uh, let's go to the cart page and I'll show you the issues and we come up with a solution. So I can say cart page URL is, let's go to the cart page and go out to cart, go to cart. So this is the cart page URL. Now we need to go to the cart page. I had an option of clicking a cart. I just decided to go to the, to the URL directly. So I can say driver that get cart page url now we're going to go to the cart page now what we do is what we need we need this now this page sometimes acts weird this should have been an x not a not an i uh, okay i think something with the rendering so basically i want to click on this so i want to copy the locator here so i'm going to say print removing item from from cart so I'm going to say driver find element. I'm going to say by XPath. Oh, I didn't save the XPath, so let's 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 save the XPath in the variable. I can say uh, clear remove from cart. Remove from cart locator is that remove from from cart. Okay, so. Here, I found the element, saved it in a variable, and clicked it here. I'm just going to do it in one line. I can just do click. Okay. Let's see. This is actually going to fail, but let me show you why it would fail. It's because it's just running f f way too fast. So this is saying no such element, right? It opened it. It went there. It, it You can see it added to the cart, but the cart is still empty because things are happening way too fast when Selenium is doing it. It didn't give the application itself a chance to update. So if you were to re, uh, load the reload the page, we can see the item there. So in this case, we're just going to put a sleep. In, in this case, that's not the proper way to do it. Now let me see, import, import sleep uh, time import time right so in this case we're just going to wait a little bit we're going to wait two seconds before we go to the next one so i can say time that sleep and we're going to wait two seconds in a real test you'd never want to do that you never want to sleep two seconds every time what if this can be done in a one in one second so you're just going to write a lot a, a retry logic i actually have a retry logic on my notes but i'm seeing the video is taking a lo longer than i thought so I'm, i'll skip the retry logic but the, usually you would put a retry logic so you're going to put a little time here now let's run it. Let's test that, that out. Let's make sure two seconds is enough for the cart to be uh, updated. So it's not actually. Uh, we got the same. Yeah, let's see. Uh, same issue. So let's go back to the code. Oh, I need to put the sleep before it actually goes to the page, right? I have it in the wrong, wrong spot. So I'm going to say print navigating to current page okay let's run it again uh, this time I think it should work so it's gonna wait for two seconds then it's gonna to go to the page voila now it found it and it clicked it now we can see the message all right and it didn't fail as you can see it's all good all right so the last thing to do is now we we removed it the last thing to do is we want to make sure this this message is displayed so let's get the locator. I'm going to do inspect. I have it open here, so we can do it here. Remove it. So now let me get the element for this. Again, I'm going to do the quick way. I'm just going to copy, copy X pass. Okay. So let's set another variable. I'm going to say print verifying success message. All right. So I'm going to say uh, message locator is that driver that find element by 
xpath again and I'm going to do message locator. Let's save it into a variable message element. Okay, this is just the element. Now let's get the text message text is going to be the element message element dot text. This will give us the text. Let's just print it. In fact, print message text. Now let's run it and see if our script is good so far. All right, it should be fairly, fairly simple. All right, it did fail saying unable to locate element because it is going too quick. Now, one thing we did not do is we need to let Selenium know how long to wait while it's looking for something, okay? There is there is two ways to do it. There is an implicit way and explicit way. And there are videos on what the differences are and I'll link them down below. In this case, we're gonna use implicit way, driver dot implicit way, let's just say 10 seconds. So what, what we, when, we, when we do implicit way 10, we're telling WebDriver, wait 10 seconds before you say, I can't find this element. See how we're saying find element? We use find element a lot, right? And WebDriver is going to try to look for that element right away. And if you can't find it, it will, it will just raise an exception, it would fail. But if we tell it to actually wait, what is going to, it's not going to wait 10 seconds every time, right? It's going to wait up to 10 seconds. So it's going to check every half a second, up to 10 seconds. And as soon as it finds the element, it's going to move forward. So I'm going to run this. It runs really quick too. I love it. So clicked it, wait that two seconds, and it went to the page and we have no failure and your cart is currently empty. It printed it right here, that's what we need. So the last thing we wanna do is we wanna just check it, right? We can do assert message text is what they expect, this is what we expect. We can say message text is not as expected. We can do actual is message text. Oops, and expected is this, right? So this will pass, if I run it, this should actually pass. And we can print, we can even print a statement at the end saying uh, print pass. And we should close the browser. As you can see, every time I run it, there's a browser open, right? That is a, pro a problem. So if I do driver, driver dot quit it will actually close the browser. Now let me close this so so you believe me, you don't have to keep track of how many tabs, how many windows I have open. All right, let's go back to the test. Oh, it did fail for some reason. Let's run it again and see what, what happens. It's pretty fast. The slowest thing in this whole test is that two seconds sleep we added, all right? So no failures, passed, okay? And the browser closed, all right? So that is a very quick, clean uh, Selenium script. That's what a Selenium script looks like. This is by itself. Uh, usually the code gets bigger. The fr when you have a framework, you know, all of this is reusable, right? So for example, adding to cart. You don't want to write code to add to cart on every file because there's going to be a lot of tests that actually need item to cart, uh, add to cart. So you're going to have some common core, some, some common code that all your other tests would use, okay? We, we will look at examples of using the framework in a different, uh, different video, but I highly encourage you uh, to look at the full course if you really enjoy uh, what you see here. All right, so this has been a demo of uh, Selenium Script with Python. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.